Hello, this is David G, and welcome to today's meditation on manifesting your deepest desires. Our inner fire is the source of our energy, our creativity, and our sense of personal power. So let's find a comfortable place to sit or lie down where we can truly nourish our inner fire. And after you've settled in, take a long, slow, deep breath in. And ever so gently let that go. Let's do that one more time. Long, slow, deep breath in. And gently release. As we follow our breath in and out, allow yourself to recognize that it's the spark of life that ignites our will to act and transform the raw materials of our dreams and desires into tangible form. According to Ayurveda, our inner fire is known as our Agni, and it's said to reside in our solar plexus that's right below your chest right above your belly energetically the solar plexus is very very close to your belly button so with your eyes closed place your hand on that part of your belly where you feel your desires this is the area of our third energy center our third chakra which is known as the Manipura which means city of jewels. The Manipura chakra is depicted as a brilliant yellow lotus flower with ten petals radiating from its center. So envision a shining yellow sun radiating from the core of your body, transforming matter into energy and providing us light and warmth. The vibration that corresponds to our third chakra is Ram. Ram. When the inner fire of the Manipura chakra is weak, or blocked, or constricted, we feel tired, frustrated, withdrawn, we're fearful of taking risks, or confronting people, or issues. We make lots of excuses, and we don't have enough energy to nourish the seeds of our intentions and desires so they're unable to germinate, unable to flourish. The Manipura chakra is the chakra of getting it done. It's that magnificent sun that radiates from within you to transform and metabolize your life. We can strengthen the power of our Manipura chakra, nourishing that inner fire that burns away whatever is no longer serving us including limiting beliefs, ideas, philosophies, attitudes, behaviors, and memories. You can use this meditation regularly to awaken your Manipura so that your life energy can flow more freely. So let's get started. Let's right now soften our eyes even more and release any tension from our shoulders, our jaw, our temples, our hips. And together, let's take a long, slow, deep breath in. And gently let that go as you deepen into stillness. And bring your awareness to your toes. And just drift that awareness from your toes all the way up to the crown of your head. Don't obsess over any constrictions or tightness or discomfort or blockage. Just breathe into it. Just keep moving up. And when you find something tight, breathe into it and release it. 
if there's any discomfort or pain or heaviness in your heart right now, let's breathe into it. And release it right now. Feel any of those constrictions start to open just a little bit more and continue to breathe and continue to scan. And when you've gotten to the crown of your head, raise your arms to the sky and let whatever tightness constriction remains to flow right out of you. And now let's visualize a beautiful golden light filling your solar plexus. Gently place your right hand to that spot and cover your right hand with your left hand and feel your solar plexus. And now take a long, slow, deep breath in. And as we exhale, together we'll say Ram. Breathe in deeply. Ram. Let's do that one more time. Take a long, slow, deep breath in. and feel the sound vibration and notice the energy that's now flowing effortlessly through your body, radiant light and warmth into the universe and beyond. Continue breathing deeply and repeat the sound Ram on each exhalation until you feel infused with the feeling of strength and possibility. Let's do it once together. Take a deep breath in. And now continue on your own. Now you'll feel that Manipura Chakra is electrified, awakened, enlivened. Ram. Ram. Inhale deeply and exhale. Ram. You're feeling the ripples. Now let's give ourselves permission to awaken the fire that's within. Let's focus on something you want to create in your life. The Brihadaranyaka Upanishad says that you are your deepest striving desire. As is your desire, so is your will. As is your will, so is your deed. As is your deed, so is your destiny. Our Manipura Chakra is the chakra of desire, intention, will, and destiny. So now let's plant a seed. Let's invite an intention, any intention, and plant that intention in this radiant sun that's emanating from your solar plexus. So let's plant a seed that is pregnant with possibility, that will lead to the birth of something new and magnificent in our lives. Call that long lost friend. Forgive someone, a parent, a child, a spouse, an ex. Forgive yourself. Smile at someone. Text someone you're struggling with. Meet someone for breakfast. Write on someone's Facebook wall. Treat someone to lunch. Send this meditation to someone who's struggling. Buy someone a book that moved you. Hug someone. Pet your dog. Laugh out loud wherever you are. Let go of something you've been holding on to 
that no longer serves you. Watch the sunset. Meditate with a friend. Hold someone's hand. Buy someone a cup of tea. Smell a flower. Hug a tree. Rescue an animal. Stand in the rain. Oil your body. Light a candle for someone who's passed on. Smile at the world. So many things we can invoke, bring into our desire and intention center. This is how we transform ourselves. And when we transform ourselves, we transform the world around us. So let's take it deeper. We'll use the mantra, Om Ram Ritam. Om Ram Ritam. Om Ram Ritam. speed or pace to unfold naturally. There's no right or wrong speed to this. As you repeat the mantra, it may change. It may get louder, fainter, faster, slower. It may even become jumbled or distorted. However it changes, simply continue to repeat it innocently. And when you realize you've drifted away from the mantra to another sound, to a thought, or to a physical sensation, ever so gently drift back to Om Ram Ritam. I'll watch the time, and when you hear me ring the chime, just sit gently with your eyes closed, allowing that sun to keep radiating from within you. So let's begin.
sit gently with your eyes closed and let the stillness and silence settle in. And now let's take a long, slow, deep breath in. And gently let that go. Let's do that one more time. Long, slow, deep breath in. And gently release it. And let's seal the seed we've planted. Let's seal our desires. Let's seal our intentions. Let's seal the manifestation of them by chanting the vibration Ram. One time together. Take a long, slow, deep breath in. Ram. And when it feels comfortable, you can slowly open your eyes. You can look around at those who you shared this collective consciousness with your fellow radiators of intentions and desires. We transform the world by transforming ourselves. So today, as you move through the world, feel the light of transformation pouring out from your Manipur chakra as it shines on everyone and everything you come in contact with. Feel the glow. Feel that sweet Agni, the fire of transformation. Feel that golden sweet light radiating and know that you are not in the universe. The universe is in you, pregnant with possibilities, available for manifestation in every moment, all arising from your seed of transformation and fueled by that ever radiating sun in the center of your belly. Feel free to use this Agni meditation whenever you want to birth a new idea, whenever you want to launch a new direction, whenever you want to reinvent yourself. From the sweet spot of the universe, this is David G. And I'm wishing you an amazing day of manifesting your deepest desires. And I'll see you in the gap. Namaste.